What's up, my beautiful and powerful, handsome Scorpios? Welcome to my channel. I hope all of my BFFs out there are doing well. So, Scorpio, I've been doing these videos now, I think, for a couple of weeks. And I listen to Tarot, too. And, you know, the overall energy is kind of like people from the past returning. But, Scorpio, if you like me, you know, some Scorpios out there, we ain't looking for the past to return. We're looking for some damn new love, okay? But I feel like there are some things within us that we need to change or work on to be open to receive this new love, right? So, I'm going to pull some activation cards here, and I'm going to see what do we need to do? What things do we need to work on in order to be open to receive this new love that we're waiting on, okay? So, let's get started. What needs to be activated for my Scorpio spirit? Shit coming out already for us to receive new love. So, Scorpio, the first thing we got to do is open our heart chakra. Can y'all see that? Okay, our heart chakra needs to be open. So, it talks about in the past. You know, because of how people could have done us. We talking about relationships, friendships, co-workers, any ship that ends with ship. You know what I'm saying? It was like, you know, Scorpios, we could be sensitive. And it's like we tend to hold things inside. So it's like, you know, we block a lot of energy, a lot of love coming toward us because we've closed our heart chakra. So I feel like we have to be open. We have to be able to love deeply and unconditionally and love is also a healing property it's healing for our mind and it's also healing for our body so i feel like right now scorpios our heart chakra needs to be open it needs to be open and ready to receive whatever type of love or whatever the universe is trying to you know bless us with when it comes to a new soulmate or just someone new in our life then we have realization here and with realization it come it, it wants you to become aware of your heart centered truth as well as external processes and being able to express things. So it's like you have to be at this point of realization, realizing that, you know, in the past dealing with people, Scorpio, you were not the problem. There may be some things that you could have worked on or some adjustments and little tweaks, you know, that we could have made, but we had to come to the realization that, you know, we're not always the problem. It's just the people sometimes that we choose to give our energy to. You know what I'm saying? We always don't make the right choices when it comes to people. So it's like we have to take time to realize like maybe we made poor choices when it came to relationships in the past. And, and it could have caused our heart chakra to close up, you know? But it's like now you have to be in the realization, understand, okay, what I did was in the past, you know, and I can't allow my past to continue to, to follow me into my future. Then we have conception here. This talks about um, having like infinite potential and possibility. So it's and being able to manifest through your own focus, awareness, and intention. So it's like with conception here, it's like some of us, include me, it's like you've been manifesting new love. You want someone new. But it's like you also have to remember, you know, that you have to have patience in order to allow these things to happen. And it's like you also have to allow the infinite possibilities, you know, the infinite potential for love to come. It's like, you know, Scorpio, we'll manifest some shit on Saturday and shit by Wednesday morning. That shit ain't happening. We be like, man, fuck that shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, you can't be like that. Like, you have to take time in order for things to happen, you know? You have to be able to to know that your manifestations, that they're going to come into fruition, but you have to be open to allow these infinite possibilities to come your way. Then we have Cosmic Flower here. This talks about the remembrance of a place that you call home. And this is where you pour your magnificence out into the world. So I feel like, Scorpio, it's like sometimes when it comes to love, you know, sometimes we dive in head first, toenail, fingernail first. And it's like sometimes that has left us in the energy of feeling like we're not good enough or we're never going to find love because we, you know, make bad choices sometimes. But it's like you have to go back into this cosmic flower energy. You have to go back into that place that actually, you know, you know, when you're at home, your home is where you feel safe and comfortable. You know what I'm saying? So it's like go back into that place in your mind or into your energy that, that you that makes you feel like you're at home. You know, and then when, when love comes in, it's like you're able to pour into that situation because you're more stable. You're more grounded. Thank you, Spirit. It's like you become more stable and grounded with this cosmic flower. So, like, being at home, it's like you working on your foundation and making sure that your stability is, is able to handle this new love that's coming in, Scorpio. Just some more messages for my Scorpio Spirit. What needs to be activated for us to be able to receive new love? We have fertility. It's kind of like the Empress. 
This invites you to be more open, more courageous, more creative, and more joyful than you were before. So Scorpio, in the past, when you dealt with people that, you know, like I said, has blocked your heart chakra, that kind of turned your heart cold at one time, it's like in order to be able to receive new love, it's like, one, you got to be open. You know, because you can't be like, well, spirit of God, I want new love, but then you sitting up and talking about, well, hey, these motherfuckers ain't no good, and men, you know what I'm saying? It's like, women ain't no good, men ain't no good. It's like, if you have those negative thoughts, then how the hell are you expecting to get this wonderful man or woman that you've been manifesting? So it's like, first, you have to be more open. You have to be more courageous. Like, you have to take that leap of faith. You know, you can't be over there in the corner like, uh-uh, I'm not going to be open to love. It's like, you have to take that leap of faith. And know that love is going to come your way. Be more creative. Be more happy. Uplift your spirits. So that way somebody on a higher level can also vibe with you, Scorpio, and meet you halfway. Let me get one more card out for my kids come in. <laughs> and then we have the light. This allows you to create a new experience and feel intense joy and happiness. So it's like in, in the past, Scorpio, if you were kind of in this energy, maybe you didn't feel as happy or delightful as you wanted to because of your past. But it's like now you have to uplift your experience, Scorpio. You have to take those experiences of intense joy, of intense sadness, and realize that those are only lessons and things that's going to make you better in the future, Scorpio. So take those experiences. Make them be more delightful. Make them be more joyful. Allow yourself to be more happy because when you vibe on a higher level, you're allowing, you're being open to allow this new love to come in. But if you're continuing to vibe on that low energy or that low vibrational energy, you're just going to meet somebody who's going to vibe, who's going to come with you in that same energy. And we don't need no more low vibrational energies, motherfuckers. We need Scorpios. We need some people that's going to vibe on a higher level like we're high, like we're vibing on, okay? That's all I have for you guys. I hope something here has resonated with you. If it did, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And Scorpio, like I said, these are things that we need to do to be able to be open to new love that we want coming in. And until next time, guys, stay blessed.